for one more day that the Lord hath made. Amen. I shall rejoice and be glad in it because my God is good. My God is great. And certainly God is worthy of the praise. Amen. Couldn't nobody save me but Jesus. Amen. It took Jesus Christ. Amen. To save me from my sins. Amen. And ain't nobody going to heaven but sanctified folk. Hallelujah, Lord God. I thank God, amen, that when I called on God, amen, Jesus Christ, he saved me from my sins. Amen. And it take holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. I don't care how many people try to preach folk to heaven. It makes no difference how many folk try to sing people to heaven. Amen. Or only but the righteous, only those that's pure in heart, only those that's truly free from sin is going to see God and it take the gospel truth because the Bible said ye shall know the truth and it's the truth that shall make you free. No lie can save nobody because no lie is of the truth but it take the true unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ uh, that's able to save man from sin uh, and it just ain't the preaching of the gospel but it's the receiving of the gospel. Hallelujah. It's to a glad heart uh, to those that believe. Uh, I'm so glad, uh, amen, that Jesus loved me enough, amen, to die for my sins. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that Jesus went to the cross uh, to die for my sins uh, and not to die to lead me in sin, uh, amen, but he died to free me from sin. Uh, hallelujah, Lord God. I know, amen, I got some witnesses on this line uh, that's glad uh, that Jesus Christ saved them from their sins. Uh, therefore be a man free from sin. We are now uh, servants of righteousness. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that I made Jesus my choice. Uh, you got a whole lot of folk. Uh, they wear in the name of Christ. Uh, they wear in the name of holiness. Uh, amen. Holiness on the building. Uh, without holiness on the inside. Uh, it profits you nothing. Uh, hallelujah Lord God. God said I pray your whole spirit, my soul and body uh, be preserved blameless. Uh, hallelujah, God. Uh, I'm so glad that Jesus uh, not only washed me from my sins, uh, but he took the desire of sin out of my heart, uh, out of my life. Uh, now I'm no more my own. Uh, hallelujah, Lord God. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, Lord, I thank you right now for your precious blood uh, that you shed it on Calvary uh, where man could be saved. Uh, bless somebody through this gospel, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let this word penetrate, God, every heart of the hearer, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, because we got a, a dispensation of time, uh, Lord, that we living in. Uh, amen. Where the people are uh, having a form of godliness. Uh, the Bible said, uh, amen, for I bet them record uh, that they have a zeal of God, uh, but not according to righteousness, uh, but not according to knowledge. Uh, amen. For they are ignorant uh, of God's righteousness uh, and going about to establish their own righteousness uh, but they have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God uh, God got a standard uh, and God's standard don't change uh, God got a way uh, and that way is holiness uh, that way is a clean way uh, that way is a pure way uh, that way is a way of righteousness uh, not your righteousness but God righteousness uh, you can't go to heaven your way. Uh, hallelujah, Lord God. Jesus said, I am the way. Uh, amen. And they that name the name of Christ, uh, they got to depart from iniquity. Uh, you got to get away from sin. Uh, I mean all sin. Uh, one sin will keep you out of the kingdom. Uh, one little lie uh, will cause you to miss the mark. Uh, but we the saints of God, uh, we press and toward the mark uh, of the prize of the high calling uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, we looking for that blessed hope uh, and that a glorious appearing uh, of our great God and Lord and Savior uh, who paid the way uh, where man can have access to God. Uh, for by grace are we saved through faith. Uh, don't let this grace, uh, people of God, uh, be for granted. Uh, amen. But walk up clean before God. Uh, continue, amen, to keep that covenant with God uh, that you will let nothing uh, separate you from the love of 
God. Don't let your family separate you from the love of God. Let no job separate you from the love of God. Let no desire of the flesh, no worldly presence of the flesh, no sinful ways of the flesh separate you from the love of God. But keep yourself unspotted from the world. Jesus Christ, he's coming. He's coming again. And we looking for his coming. We waiting for that coming. We living for that coming. Where we can see Jesus. Only the pure in heart going to see God. Every eye going to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Whom they pierced. Whom they crucified. Whom they rejected. Hallelujah, Lord God. And folk is still rejecting Christ. When they rejecting the word of Christ. When they rejecting the message of Christ. But I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. Hypocrisy won't help you. Praying church won't help you. Standing and living a lie won't help you. But hallelujah, Lord God, we got to be holy. Holy for his coming. Nothing right but the Bible way. Nothing right but the holy way. Holy way is the only way. You got a whole lot of preachers. They pointing people to other ways. Amen. But Jesus Christ, he is still the Savior. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I'm free. And I love him on today. I know you got the love of Christ. Shed it in your blood, in your heart where we can cry, Abba, Father. He's our Father. Amen. But if you sinning, he is not your Father. If you committed sin, he is not your Father. The Bible said, he that committed sin is of the devil. The devil is your father. And the lust is of your father you will do. You cannot have God in the world too. You can't have sin in God too. It's holiness. It's still holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. No priest can pray you to heaven. Nobody can, amen, usher you to heaven but God. Usher you to the presence of the almighty God but Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord God. Amen. But I never seen it for the life of me. That folk is professing, amen, to know this holy way. Uh, folk is professing Jesus. Uh, amen. But they not departed from iniquity. Uh, why so many churches? Uh, why so many people that's calling themselves holy? Uh, don't remove themselves from the old landmark uh, and getting with a dog of a devil of a preacher. Uh, a dumb dog that won't bark. Uh, amen. He ain't barking. Uh, but yet the saints, amen, amen, is going to a dumb dog that won't bark uh, raising their hands uh, amen amen and a preacher uh, and he ain't preaching nothing about forgiveness of sins uh, he ain't showing people the way uh, to eternal life uh, he ain't showing people the way uh, to what it take to get God uh, a life of dedication uh, a life of sanctification uh, a life of glory uh, unto the father uh, which is through Christ Jesus our Lord Amen. It's time to live holy. We got to warn them, amen, and beware of wolves in sheep clothing. Amen. We got to be, be careful of wolves in sheep clothing. Amen. They appear to be, appear to be holy. Everybody that's preaching ain't saved. Amen. Everybody that got a long robe and a backward collar ain't saved. Amen. Hypocrisy ain't going to help you in the day of judgment. Why try to fool people when you got to stand before God and can't fool him? Amen. Time is winding up, saints of God. Keep yourself unspotted from the world. Keep looking to the hills from which come at your help. Are you listening to me? Amen. From which come at your help, knowing that your help come from God. And God is a 24-hour Savior. God is a 24-hour healer. God is a 24-hour keeper unto him that's able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. Before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God. Hey, God is so good. God loved me so much that he sent this only son, Jesus, to die for, the, for my sins and the sins of the world. And yes, God love you too. Amen. For of a truth, I perceive that God is of no respect to person. God want all of us saved. God want all of us to make it. Amen. But if you be lost, it's nobody fault but yours. If you go to hell, it's nobody's fault but yours. 
Because now is the day of uh, salvation. Now is the accepted time. There's a time where man going to repent and it's not going to be the acceptable time. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. There's coming a day where the doors of salvation is going to close. There's coming a time where man is going to repent and not find salvation because now is the time accepted. When you hear his voice hard and not your heart, too many people play in church. Too many people, amen, walking in their own ways. There's a generation who's wise in their own eyes, but they have not departed from iniquity. Amen. We, we can't go by our standards. We can't live according to our wisdom. Trust not, amen, in your own flesh, in your own wisdom. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge God. Do you ask God, amen, is this right what I'm doing? Have you asked God as you, as you please with the way I'm living and what I'm doing? Amen. If it was wrong back then, it's wrong today. Holiness have not changed. The years that pass by do not dictate the holiness of God. It do not dictate, amen, God's standard. Do you know who God is? The song said everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Amen. But it's a harsh reality. So many claim to know this old holy way. Amen. But they're going to find out the hard way that there's a way which seemeth right. Amen. Well, I know what I'm supposed to do. Well, why ain't you doing it? I know the way that I'm supposed to be living. Then why ain't you living it? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end of that ways is the ways of death. We are appointed unto man to die, but after this, the judgment. We got to keep that in mind that I'm not going to live forever. We got to keep that in mind that I got to stand before God to give an account to God, not account to my preacher, but account to God, not against, not a, to the man that say, it's okay. I don't see nothing wrong with it, but we got to give an account to God. God is requiring holiness. Do you know who the Lord is? Do you know what God requires? If you do that, why are you acting like you don't? People are given to change. The Bible said to meddle not with them that are given to change. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He changeth not. God's word don't change. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. It's settled. This is a settled way. God's standard is a settled standard. God ain't going to raise his standard high for one group of people, but then lower it for another people. What I say unto one, I say unto all. Be ye holy, for I, the Lord God, is holy. God is requiring holiness. Do you know who God is? 1 Peter 1 and 15, it said, But as he which hath called you is holy. It says, So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. That don't just mean verbal words, all manner of conversation. That mean the way you act. That mean the way your behavior is. That mean your conduct. That mean your appearance. Anything that identifies you. Don't you know your appearance can speak for you? You know a judge, amen, when he got on the judge's attire. You know, uh, amen, you know the police officer, amen, by the uniform that he wears. You can identify a firefighter by the a uniform that he wears. God is requiring holiness. Be ye holy in all manner of conversation. And as the world progress, we got to sanctify ourselves even the more. As the world progress with new fashions, amen, we got to sanctify ourselves even the more. Holiness is purity. God is holy. God is sacred. God is pure. God is clean. And he said, so be ye holy. So be ye sacred. So be ye sanctified. So be ye clean. And I'm so glad that I know who God is. I'm so glad that I know that God is holy. God is holy. His name is holy. God's works is holy. God's word is holy. And God's children is holy. Well, I'm holy like you holy. 
Amen. But the Bible said by their fruit, you know them. Amen. People talk holy. Amen. But their actions don't line up with that profession. Amen. Why I see the world if you're so holy? Why I see the world's ways? Why I see the DNA of the world? Don't you know every child got his father's and mother's DNA? Naturally. And if you are God's child, you're supposed to have the DNA of your father. You're supposed to have his characteristics, his ways. i never seen it for the life of me. Folk are given to change as if God ain't coming back, as if Christ ain't coming back. Don't you know Christ is coming back? We got to live this life every day like it's our last day on earth. We don't know when our life is going to leave this body. Amen. And everybody that dies not going to heaven. Amen. To be absent from the body is to be present for the Lord. But that's only for the righteous. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. So we got to be holy. Do you know the destiny of the soul? Where are you going when you leave here? Search yourself, examine yourself, prove your own selves. Know ye your own selves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Are you walking up clean before God? Ask God, seek God, search God. God, search me, Lord. Put me under your microscope, God. I don't want to live, amen, all this life thinking I'm right and I'm wrong. That's a dangerous situation, amen, to be living a life thinking you saved and you not saved. If you're cursing, you're not saved. If you're lying, you're not saved. Jesus said, God said, my little children will not lie. If you live in a double standard, you are not saved. Amen. If you put your hands, amen, in the world, halfway in the world, and you're not saved, you either in God or in the world. It's time to know the truth. Hey, man, Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the light. Knowing who God is, it ought to make you submit yourself. When you truly know who God is, when you truly know who God is, you will humble yourself. When you truly know who God is, you will fear and obey. For our God is a consuming fire. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. For we all must appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That every man will give an account of the things that he done in his body, whether it be good or evil. Do you know who he is? It said, because it is written, be ye holy. It is written. It's established. It's set. Be ye holy for I am holy. He said, be holy. He didn't say try to be holy. He didn't say do the best you can. He didn't say all our sinners. Amen. Do the best you can. He didn't say just ask for forgiveness. He didn't say just repent. Without a change. He didn't say just repent. Without being converted. He didn't say just repent. Without him truly letting you deliver you. He said be, be, be. You got to be holy. You got to be righteous. You got to be blameless. Ah, glory to God. Amen. We get our pattern from the word of God. Where all these faiths come from. The Bible said we're supposed to speak the same thing. We're supposed to mind the same thing. Saints is on one accord, y'all. Amen. You know them by their fruit. Anybody that teach contrary to the word of God. Amen. That's a heresy. Man's wisdom that contradict God's word is man's error. It won't be long. It won't be long before he come. But how will he catch you? Will he catch you with your works undone? Well done, thy good and faithful servant. That is only for the saint. That is only for the righteous. That is only for the perfect. That is only for the blameless. That is only for the pure in heart. That is only for those that made a covenant with God by way of sacrifice, good and faithful. Servant. Thank God for so-and-so. She served the Lord. And now she's going to take her rest. And she died from smoking. She smoked herself to death. He doped himself to death. Crack kills. Amen. Some folk, amen. Crack gonna put him in the grave. It's gonna kill you. Get away from that dope. Get away from the dope and grab hope to hope. You know the way. You a backslider. 
You know the way. You know I'm talking to you. You know God is talking to you. Look how much he blessed you. Look how much he increased you even though you left him. That's mercy. That's grace. That's love. God love you. He don't want you to perish. It's not God's will that any should perish. Amen. But just because God is blessing you. Amen. That, that's supposed to be your key to turn to God and give your life to God to ask him to save you, to wash you, to forgive you. But look at what you're doing. You're getting further from him. Every time you, you go further from God, you're getting closer to death. God is the life giver. God is life. Amen. Don't let them drugs take you out. You might not be here next year. Now is the time accepted. Not on your deathbed. Don't, don't you dare think that you can get saved, amen, on your deathbed. Who's to say that God going to allow you space to repent on your deathbed? I'm talking to you. You know I am. Amen. Verse 17 said, and if you call on the Father, that's what you got to do. You got to call on God. God, come into my life. God, I need you. God, I can't help me. Deliver me. Help me. God, I need your salvation. I can't do this on my own. And if you call on the Father, who without respect a person's judge according to every man's work, God who judges according to every man's work, who without respect a person, that means God is not partial. He don't have respect a person when it comes to judgment. He don't have respect a person when it comes to salvation. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. That soul that sinneth, it shall die. And whosoever, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God is not partial when it comes to that. Do you know who God is? You ain't done too much what God can't deliver you. He's able to save to the utmost. But it's time to forsake your ways. The Bible said forsake your ways. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Turn to the Lord and then he'll abundantly pardon. Amen. But confessing Christ without forsaking sin ain't going to do you no good. Repenting every day. Amen. Every week, every month. Amen. Ain't going to do you no good. You got to repent and forsake your sins. You got to turn from sin to God. Hallelujah. And there is no God like our God. There is no God like God. Amen. God is incomparable. There's none that could compare to God. Oh, Lord, thy God, who is like thee uh, of a truth. There is none like God. Nobody can heal like God. Uh, nobody can deliver like God. Uh, nobody can do what God could do. Uh, he's an old time God. Uh, he's a right now God. Uh, he's an everywhere God. Uh, and tonight he could be your God. Uh, he could be your God. Uh, he could be your savior. He could be your deliverer. If you call on God who without respect a person judge according to every man's work past the time of your sojourning here in fear. Let me ask you a question. How do you know? How do you know that you know who God is? You got to know that you know who God is. Search the scriptures. Amen. This is how we learn about who God is. This is how we get to know who God is. Amen. In 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3, it said, and hereby, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. This is how we know that we know God. If we keep his commandments, uh, if we obedient to God, uh, if we walk in circumspectly to his word, uh, if we following God, uh, if we obey Jesus, uh, if we deny ourselves uh, and worldly lusts uh, and following after the pattern of holiness. Uh, this is how we know that we know him uh, when we keep his commandments uh, and the commandments of God is not grievous. Uh, any saint that's truly been saved uh, love to please God. Uh, they love to love God. Uh, they want to obey God. They want to do all that God requires. Uh, anybody that truly want to go to heaven, huh, they're going to do what it takes to get there. Huh? They're not going to play with this thing. He that saith, I know him. Look at this now. He that saith, I know him. Because you got a whole lot of church folk that saying that they know God. You got a whole lot of pastors that's preaching like they know God. Amen. The Bible said, he that saith, I know him. See, lip service won't help you. 
Having that, that profession without that possession, it will not help you. He that saith, I know him. See, with their mouth, they draw not to God. Amen. Folk, they know how to play church. They know how to sound church. They know how to look church. They know how to talk church. But he that saith, I know him and keep it not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. The truth is not in her. The truth is not in them. If you're not keeping God's commandments, if you're not searching yourself, if you're not being holy and sanctified from sin every day. The devil is a liar. And when you say you know God and you're not keeping his commandments, you a liar. And you are of your father, the devil, and he's a liar from the beginning. He's a murderer from the beginning. And the devil, he sinneth from the beginning. Amen. But God is holy. He's been holy from the beginning. God is pure. He's been pure since the beginning. God is without partiality. God is blameless. You can't fault God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Every soul, amen, amen, that goes to hell, it's their fault. They choose to deny Jesus. They choose to reject holiness. They choose to walk in their own ways. They choose the pleasure of flesh uh, more than to be a pleasure of God. Uh, hallelujah Lord God. Hell hath enlarged itself. Uh, few that's be that's gonna find a way. Uh, Cause straight is the gate. Uh, S-T-R-A-I-T -T, uh, not S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T -T, uh, but straight. That means tedious narrow. Uh, hallelujah Lord God is the way that leadeth unto life. Uh, but this is not a hard way. Uh, amen. What's hard is the ways of a transgressor. What's hard is living after the flesh, uh, trying to please people uh, and still trying to claim God. Uh, that way is hard. Uh, that way is the hard way. Uh, but Jesus said, my yoke is easy uh, and my burden is light. Uh, come to Jesus if you're not saved uh, before it's everlasting too late. Uh, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven uh, with the shout and the voice of the archangel uh, and the trump of God uh, and the dead in Christ. Only those that saved that died in the Lord uh, is going to be caught up, uh, amen, out of them grave uh, to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, and we that's alive and remaining in God, uh, not everybody that die, uh, everybody that die ain't going to heaven. Uh, it's going to be more folk that's lost than it is that's saved. Uh, it's going to be more folk that's in hell than it is heaven. Uh, I know that I'm right about it, uh, amen, for a few that's going to find a way. Uh, broad is the way, but we're living in a dispensation of time where the preacher preaching folk in the heaven uh, and he making it sound like more folk in heaven than they are lost uh, but the Bible refutes that uh, it's going to be more folk lost than they is saved uh, because folk don't want Jesus uh, the way that God want them to have it uh, they want Jesus they way uh, but you can't have this thing your way uh, the way is set uh, the race is set uh, the rules is established hallelujah Lord God uh, and he that runneth uh, he that striveth for the mastery uh, must be temperate uh, we got to obey the laws. Uh, we got to obey God rules. Uh, too many folk being religious, uh, but they not being delivered. Uh, you got a whole lot of folk, amen, to claim this so narrow way, uh, but look at their fruit. Uh, search the scripture, uh, and you will know them by their fruit. Amen. You cannot walk in sin, and you cannot be in sin, and know God at the same time. Sin separates you from the divine. Sin separates you from God. Hallelujah. Galatians 6 and 7 said, be not deceived. Amen. That was a commandment. Amen. But we living in a dispensation, a time where so many are deceived. And in the last days, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And that's why folk are deceived. Amen. Because they want that doctrine of the devil that appeased the flesh. But I want that doctrine of Jesus that crucifies the flesh. Amen. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived about who God is. Don't be so deceived about the love of God. Don't be deceived about the grace of God. The grace of God does, and the love of God do not permit man to continue in sin. The grace and the love of God will not give man access to heaven. Amen. If he did not meet the requirements, if he have not been keeping the commandments of God, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. God is not mocked. 
Amen. So many folk trying to make a fool of God. Trying to, God is not to be one to be made fun of. When you play in church, you're making a mockery of God. You're mocking a man what the true people of God are doing. You're mocking the way the true people of God are living. Amen. When, amen. When we shout, we Bible said we lift up holy hands. Amen. But you got folk, amen, that's playing church and they lifting up hands. They know how to get out of their seat and amen the preacher. But he ain't preaching a drop of the word. God is not to be made fun. God is not to be taken lightly. God is not a play toy. Do you really know who God is? If you know who God was, you wouldn't play with God. If you know who God was, you would be real with God. Amen. Do you know who he is? Amen. It takes somebody that truly know who God is to consider the consequences of sin. I said it takes somebody that truly know who God is to, to consider the consequences of sin. See, but the trick of the devil is he don't want folk that's in sin to consider the consequences of sin. Amen. But my Bible tell me that the wages of sin is death. Hypocrisy, it was going to lead to death. The Bible said, what is the hope of the hypocrite? Though he have gained, though he have made his, amen, people thought that they was truly saved, made it seem like that she was a true woman of God. Amen. Though he have gained when God taketh away his soul, the hope of the hypocrite, Job says, shall perish. Have you considered the consequences of sin. Do you know who God is? It's time to know who God really is. Recognize that, that we are held accountable to God. Amen. The Ecclesiastes, amen, the preacher said, amen, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. 12 and 9. Ecclesiastes 12 and 9. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter to fear God and to keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. When you truly know who God is, you will have that reverence for God. Hallelujah. Recognizing who God is. We got to know who he is. Deuteronomy 7 and 9 said, therefore. No, therefore, Deuteronomy 7 and 9. No, therefore, no, it's time to know. It's time to know who he is. Know, therefore, that the Lord thy God, he is God. He is God. He's the true God. He's the only God. He's the originator. He's the ruler of the universe. He's the creator. He's the maker. He's the one with all power. He's the one who established holiness. Holiness originates from God because holiness is God's character. Holiness is who God is. Amen. That's why you can't change the standard of holiness because you can't change holiness because you can't change who God is. God is holy. You can't change holiness because you can't change God. You either conform to God or you're going to be removed by God. You go either going to obey God or you going to obey the devil. Choose you this day who you going to serve. You either love God or you love the world. You can't eat off two tables. You can't eat off the table of God and drink the cup of devils. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's a reliable God. He's a loyal God. We can trust God. When you really want to be saved, God will truly save you and he's reliable. You can depend on God to keep his word. But can you keep your word? Can God depend on you? Can God look to you to be loyal? Can God look to you to be reliable? Can God look to you to be faithful? He is faithful, but can you be faithful? Amen. When you are a child of God, you're supposed to be faithful like God is faithful. You could trust God. But so many that's wearing the name of God have not yet departed from iniquity. He's always there. He's so faithful. God will always be there to show up every time that you need him. Every time that you need God, God will be there. Amen. You don't have to worry. Them that serve God, them that obey God, them that love God. These are the benefits that we have in him. That when we need God, God will be faithful. And he's even there for you, sinner. He'll be there for you. 
We know that God here have not sent us, but if you seek the Lord in prayer, if you seek God to be saved, God will save you. God will be there for you. God will be faithful. Amen. Because it's not his will that any should perish, but that all shall come into repentance. He want to save you, but you got to want to be saved. You got to come to God. You got to want to come to God. His arms are stretched out. Amen. All the day long. Amen. But don't let it be said too late. Amen. You, you got to live this life. Amen. Like it's our last day on earth. Deuteronomy 32 and 4. Amen. I'm booking you a little bit. Amen. It said he is the rock. I'm talking about who God is. He is the rock and his work is perfect. Amen. When God save you, he'll do a perfect work in you. God will perfectly save you. God will completely save you. He don't do no halfway work on salvation. God will save you entirely. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said to save yourself. Amen. But so, but let me tell you, you can't deliver yourself from every sin, but all the sins that you can deliver yourself from, amen, deliver yourself from, and all the sins that you can't, God will deliver you from those. Hallelujah. His work is perfect for all his ways. I judgment. God ain't doing things haphazardly. All his ways, our judgment, a God of truth. Do you know who he is? Amen. If you sitting under a preacher that ain't preaching you the truth, amen, that's not a messenger of God. He's a God of truth and no lie is of the truth. He's a God of truth and without iniquity. Amen. And he wants you to be a child of truth and without iniquity. And we can do it. And he perfect us daily. He strengthens us daily. He establishes us daily. He fills us daily. He, re he refills us and replenishes us and renew us daily. Though this outward man perish, the inner man is renewed day by day. I hope you receive in the word of grace. He is a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. A God of truth. He won't deceive you. And any preacher that's of God won't deceive you neither. A God of truth and without iniquity. Do you know who he is? First John, I'm almost done. First John 4 and 16. It said, and we have known and believed. See, you got to know and believe. You got to believe and know the love that God have to us. God is love. This is who he is. God is love. He's a God of love. But just because he's a God of love, that don't mean that he won't put you in hell. Amen. God, amen, is a God of love, but he's also a God of judgment. God is good. God is righteous. He holy. Amen. But God is not like man. God is spirit. The Bible said, amen, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This is who God is. And God seeketh such who shall worship him. Are you a true worshiper? Do you worship God every day of your life? Have you denied yourself? Are you abstaining from the world? Or are you looking like the world? Are you mixing like the world? Are you talking like the world? Are you dressing like the world? Or are you conform, amen, to the standards of God? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. See, they want God, but they don't want to be transformed. They want God, they want heaven, but they don't want to conform to the gospel. But right now is your opportunity. Saints of God, this is our opportunity to stay in the love of God, to grow in the grace of God. Because the grace of God that brings salvation have appeared to all men. Everybody going to have a chance. Everybody that died have a chance, had a chance. Everybody in hell is a believer. But it's too late. But don't let it be said too late for you. Jesus Christ is able to save and keep you. Don't you dare give up on God. Don't you dare give up on God. You keep holding on to God, people of God. 
You keep holding on to God, righteous ones. He is a 24 hour savior. Don't you dare give up on him. Do you know what Christ suffered? Do you know how bad that torture was? Don't you dare give up on him. I don't care what the devil is telling you, how hard it feel, how you feel, the oppression, the heaviness, the discouragement. Rebuke that devil. Keep a hold on God. And don't you dare give up on him. Because in hell, you're going to reap that for all eternity. You, you, it's going to torment you. I should have stayed with God. I should have stayed with God. The harsh reality is most backsliders is not going to make it back. That's why, it's in, that's why I'm encouraging you to stay with them. Keep him. It won't be long. It's almost midnight. The trumpet is about to sound. It's almost midnight, people of God. And shame on you if you miss it. Please accept his amazing grace because it's almost midnight. It's more closer now than it's ever been before. We got to live more holy and perfect now than we ever lived before. Because we only get one chance. One life, one chance. Don't let it be said too late. Keep the, keep the standard, preachers. Keep God's standard. Don't take down, compromise, change, mix with anybody for any reason or anything because the blood is going to be required at your hands. You've been running well. The scripture said, but who hindered you? Keep running, preachers. Keep your hand on that gospel plow. Your work shall be rewarded. God is pleased. He's pleased even when you don't hear the people telling you that, that God is pleased. Even when you don't get the response that you're looking for. God said, I'm pleased with you. Just keep my standard and endure just a little more while. I love you. God bless you. Pray for me. I hope something be said that edified you. And remember, to God be all the glory. God bless you. Leave your spirit. I'm tired of sin and strife.